know, prostitute interview with Bianca. Up in Long Beach. Yeah. That's where I'm from. Um, tell me about, tell me about your family. Uh, so I went back and forth between my mom and dad growing up. Started like in kindergarten, going through court and everything. Barely went to elementary school. Ain't this shorty that they, that they, that son had in the car too that time? Yeah. One thing about souls, I don't forget a bitch face. <laughs> yeah, they did some interview. I think she was in one of, one of them prosties. Nigga was rolling through California through that fig block, and she was out there, and she got in the car, did an interview with my son from um, the other page. I forgot the other page. I forgot the dude's name. Taboo Room, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong what page she was on, but it was her. Yeah. School because of that. Um, so it was mostly between too. back and forth. My mom, dad. My mom lived in LA, Watts, LA, like and my dad working, lived in Long bro. Beach. Don't need look like she been working. <laughs> you gotta look at your bitch knees. You gotta start looking at your bitch knees. Be like, oh, look at your knees right quick. <laughs> Her knees is busted. Her shit's just worn down. Yeah, she on them bitches. But for the most part, I did grow up in Long Beach. How do you, how would you describe your childhood in general? Um, with my dad, it was strict. Um, I had a lot of sisters. We would always go outside and play. Um, I didn't really talk to my dad. Like, me and all my sisters, we don't really talk to our dad. Like, we could live in the same house and walk past each other, we won't say nothing. Um, a little abusive, that's why. I was always getting in trouble in school. Were you, were you a fast girl? She auditioned like she ready to sell butt to this nigga. a fast girl. Look at her. Like she ain't got nothing on. This shit is like all connected. You got one piece on? Maybe. I was. I was yeah. always into boys, but I wasn't sexually active until, um, until I was 14. Mm -hmm. I lost my virginity when I was 14. Yeah. But um, And on my mom's side, whenever I would go over there, I called it like the party side. Like it was fun. Like we got to do whatever. Mom was looser. Yeah, she was way more looser, you know, taking shots as kids, you know, dancing, having fun, just having fun. But then realized when I got older, that wasn't right. So, yeah. Any abuse in your childhood? Yeah. That's why I was mostly going to court. Um, it was abuse from my dad. My mom, not her. Not but not her. sexual? Um, sexual abuse? Yeah. Um, my mom's side. Oh, really? Yeah. How old were you? It first started when I was 12. Um, it was like an older cousin of mine from my mom's side. And I didn't realize he was grooming me the whole time. You know, I used to call him my favorite big cousin. He would take me to my games and everything until one night. Um, and my mom, she knew about like how, you know, how sexual like he could be with kids and stuff. What? And I remember one time he took me to his house and I was 12 years old and it was late. And me and my sister, it was like two in the morning. He took us to the beach. He was like, do you want a shot? And you know, I'm a kid, you know, I was like, sure, why not? And then um, we ended up going to his house. Then it was like three in the morning. And he asked me, he woke me up in my sleep, asked me to braid his hair. I said, no, I went back to sleep. He came back in the room and then pulled the covers off me while my sister was on the side of me sleep. And yeah, mm. that's it, no matter. 12 years old. Yeah. And then every now and then, like, he would come to the house, to my mom's house when I was over there, and whenever she wasn't around, he would come sneak to my room, do whatever, even when I'm asleep. So, yeah. Do you feel like that has somehow changed you now that you're grown? I wouldn't say just that changed me. It's a lot that changed me, really, not That's just crazy. that. But I would say the help that I didn't get for that would. Cause it's a fucking lame, bro. That's some lame, weird shit. Like taking advantage of your little cousin. Like that shit is crazy. That nigga deserve a bullet. Definitely affect me. Mm. A bullet. How far did you go to school? Nah, look, she a little. Um, guy. I dropped out my twelfth grade year. 12, I didn't finish. You almost grade. made it. I almost made it. I only needed sixty credits, sixty more credits. But I was going back and forth to school. I was getting kicked out of most of my schools because I was fighting, or I wasn't going to school. I was always ditching because I have a problem with school. Like, I cannot sit in a classroom for that long. I will 
panic. Grade, I have anxiety. So. Your ADHD, maybe. Yeah, I. She said she lost her shit at fourteen. Twelfth grade, she was fully active on dicks. Yeah, she was active on them dicks. That's why she wasn't in school. She was I think so. Pussy. And I never. You know, it's crazy. I used to ask my mom, like, "Can I get some like help? Like, really see what's wrong with me? Like, why?" Yeah, really, because the nigga took it. Doing that shit yeah, but you know. Really, man, motherfuckers ain't really trying to count no rape as a body, like, as a virginity body. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like, but, um, 12th grade is, like, nigga, that's the last year, yeah, like, 17. You should be, like, 17, 18 if you got left back. <laughs> but, yeah, you should be, like, 17. You should be finishing. You're done. Do what the fuck you want. How the fuck she even agree to this shit, prostitute nigga? <laughs> she trying to get sad. her name yeah, off. <laughs> if you ever pull up on Fig and you see me out there, like why would you agree to an interview, a prostitute interview? Or like what's wrong? Yo, you bro, bitch? That, they paid her to do this. They definitely probably paid yeah, her. Yeah, we got a little stack of two. Nigga, hell no. She fucking for forty. You can come talk for a hundred. Nigga, she fucking for forty. Nigga, she will talk for a hundred. Yeah, come talk to us for a little while. We gotta. Yeah, that's like a, that's like a degrading. job. That's like a job. Two hundred. They probably give it two hundred, a hundred an hour. You only on that thirty minutes. Mom, like, can I get some like help? Like, see what's wrong with me? Like, why nigga I have a problem with to, school? Like, yeah, niggas about to pull up on fig. We out the Cali. We about to pull up on fig. They about to pull up on the fig. Like, where's Shorty at? From South White Underbelly. Teachers like. <laughs> I had an attitude problem, talking back, fighting. And then when it wasn't a problem, I'll just be sitting in class doing my work and out of nowhere, I'll just start crying. Like, I feel some type of way, like, like I just panic and I leave the school, don't come back. Mm. Yeah. And you were never medicated for it or anything like that? Mm -mm. I never got any help, no. Is that around the time that you got, medic uh, you got introduced to the game? No. Um, so. When I started doing this, I was 17. And this was like a month right after my grandma died. I think her pimp is like her friend. It was her friend first. Now, like, I think if I remember, if I'm not, let's see if I'm remembering the same She's my best friend. But um, I met some guy on Instagram and um, he texted me. And like I said, I was fast. So any guy coming to me was, you know. Look out. Yeah, so he texted me and that's my type of girl right there. <laughs> Yo, what's good, ma? She giving me pussy over that? Nah, let me stop. I'm just playing. Just <laughs> I got a daughter. This shit hurts. Nigga said, my type of girl. I'm just playing. Yeah, she's definitely. Yeah, I don't know, man. He was asking to link up, and I was like, all right. So I went to my best friend's house and linked up with him there. First time we met, we fucked. Um, and then he asked me to hoe for him. And I was just like, all right. Might not be the same and, um, What makes a girl say all right to that? A young girl. The dick was good. <laughs> I'm sorry, the dick was good. And I was going through a lot at the time. I felt like I didn't have nobody. And I feel like he was going to be the one for me, like, you know, so take there, care of me. So there's definitely a romantic interest yeah. on your part. Yeah. And, and you're willing to turn tricks. <laughs> Yes. For him. Yeah. And I also realized I kind of knew what my lifestyle was going to be like when I was older because when I first, um, when I lost my virginity at 14, that's when I, like, you know, I started becoming more, like, really sexually active. I started having sex a lot. And, um, and even before I was having sex, I knew I was always in boys' faces. Like, even my dad, I remember this one time, um, my dad, he made me a shirt, and on the back of it, it said, I'm a hoe. And he told me to wear it to school. Your dad yeah. did this. Wow. Yeah. Um, this bitch lost from me. And, uh, yeah, dad don't get no fucks. Yeah, I kind of just knew what was going to happen to me. Like, I was always having bad talk to me, you know. My dad, he didn't really tell me much about boys. Like, we didn't talk. We never really talked. If only time we're talking is when I'm in trouble. Mm. That's it. So you had two parents, but they weren't really. They weren't together, no. But they weren't really. Yeah. I guess they had toxic relationships, too. My dad uh, met my mom when she was No, but a, a, a dad buying you a shirt that says I'm a hoe is not exactly what you want for a dad. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. I would never. So you got introduced to this and 
um, at 17. How old are you now? Huh? 19. You're 19. So you're, you're barely legal. Yep. I used to do Google searches for my own name, and I was always yeah, I really disturbed what I'd find. Seeing my personal information out there for anyone to grab, it's just uncomfortable. Data, data broken for me. Even detecting for having it right uh, under the video. A month. You were doing this when you were underage? Yeah. 17? But then I stopped for, I was doing it for like a month. And then I stopped because of police and um, family compli like complications. Did your parents find out? Yeah, they found out. And then I started redoing again when I was 18. And I really started doing it for sure. What, what, what are the upsides of doing this kind of work? Fast money. Yeah, for sure. Fast money. Um, make your own hours. Like garbage. Not really. Not really? <laughs> no, I don't no, make not when you got to pee. Yeah, nah. Um, but that's really the upside of it. Fast money, bro. That's it. But you, you, you'll be working seven days a week? Mostly, yeah. I'll probably get one day off out the week, probably. Rain or shine? <laughs> Rain or shine. Let that coochie yeah. breathe. You get one day to rest that pussy. <laughs> one day to let that coochie breathe. That's crazy. Damn. It's a madness. Not even two. She only 19, bro. She was born after 2000. She getting ran through. She got more bodies than us. <laughs> she probably catching that in a month. She probably hoping niggas in a month. Every day. Every day she probably getting 10 dicks. You, you know, 20 to 30. 20 to 30. She's 19. You know. Young, yeah, she's yeah, young. She niggas young. is on her niggas too. Niggas on her. Niggas can tell she young compared to the other girls. Niggas on her. She probably got at least, at least a thou out. Niggas pulling up to the block straight looking. <laughs> For her. Where that young yeah, bitch at? Where that young yeah. bitch at? Where that young bitch Yeah. Oh, yeah. She getting all the money that over there, fam. Yeah. I'll probably get one day off out the week, probably. Wow. Rain or shine? Rain or shine. Doesn't Walk matter. between the raindrops. And you're out there the pretty much almost naked in the cold. Yep. That's Freezing hard. Freezing below. Like, actually, I just went to the hospital because of that. Because my body, for some reason, it stopped getting heat. Like, it would, like... Hypothermia. It just, it, yeah, it would just not get warm no more. I could sit in the heater and... Nothing will happen. I'll still be cold. Like, I remember one time I tried to light my toe on fire. People are saying L.A. is not cold, but it's in the 40s yeah. lately at night. Yeah. And sometimes windy, too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I guess today is supposed to be the most sunniest. No, today's actually she not ready. bad. Yeah. She ready to get back out there. Yeah. What does this work do to you? Look, she, uh, yeah, she naked, gang. She naked? She stood up? Nah, they, got, they show her side. She on this shit in a fucking one piece. She yeah, she, it's, a, it's a one piece. She had the interview in a one piece. She's going outside. Oh, and she said, it's nice outside, too. She let that nigga know, like, we need to wrap this shit up. We got oh, some money to make. Sad. Let's wrap this shit the fuck up. I'm that's trying to go, sad. yeah, I'm trying to get to it. It's nice out. It's nice out. We want to drink and chill. She trying to go get fucked. She trying to get some money. I respect it. Get your money, shorty. I ain't mad at you. No, today's actually not bad. Yeah. I ain't mad at you. Yeah. What does this work do to you emotionally? Mm. Does it make you feel beautiful? Honestly, it depends on the person you're working with. Like, it depends on, like... So it's how the guy treats you? Yeah. It's Are some really of the guys cool? Okay, so... <laughs> throughout my whole time hoeing, I've only had three folks. No, but I'm talking about your, your tricks. Um, I don't really... I try to not communicate with them as much. I'm really just about my... I try to get in and out, in and you out, just, in You and just out, want to service out. them and get out? Yeah. I don't even do regulars no more. Really? Because I always have a new phone every, like, two weeks. So it's, Why do you keep losing your phones? Yeah, either get stolen outside or lost or broken. Yeah. Mostly stolen, though. Are drugs a part of your life? Um. That means yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest. Um... When I was 18, I was doing drugs. I was going through like a really hard time in my life because I was two months pregnant and then I had an abortion. And the guy I was dealing with, I was, I was really sad about it. And then I was really suicidal also too. And I remember this one time, this, would, this is the day that actually started making me do drugs. Um, after I had my abortion, like, I got into like a big fight with my guy and it went down on the internet, like slandered my name, like a lot of stuff happened on the internet. And I kind of just like gave up. I was just like, you know, like I'm over it. And I went to the beach, Alameda's Beach in Long Beach. I went there. 
at two in the morning. I took like 13 Xanax. And I didn't realize that there was a lot of homeless people that live on the beach and there was a lot of tents. And I just remember sitting there, just listening to my music, Lana Del Rey, cause I love some Lana Del Rey. <laughs> I was listening to her music and I um, started feeling woozy. And a, a homeless man, he came up to me. He was asking me for a lighter, but I was going in and out, in and out, couldn't really understand. Next thing you know, I woke up in his tent and then he offered me some drugs. He was all like, do you want to smoke? And I smoked weed and I was like, yeah, I'll smoke. And he was like, he was like it's not weed. And that was the first time I ever smoked meth. And um, ever since then, I had stayed at the beach for like a whole week, literally. And um, I was doing meth. And then even after I left the beach, I was still kind of like on drugs. And, then, and meth is yeah. still something you play around with? No. I, the last time I did it was like last month. Mm. And everybody who sees this, y'all know the real me now. Yay. But, um, and I did coke, doing coke a lot. Did a lot of the tricks want to do drugs with you? Yeah, some, some, you'll get some of them who just don't even want to date. Like some of them will just be like, you want to hang out. just want to party with you. But yeah, no. What, what have you learned about men after all these interactions you've had? They're like, they're like babies. They're, I don't know, like, I feel like women really got to cater to men for real, like, I feel like they need us. I don't really, I don't know. I think we need each other. You need yeah. this $40. Doesn't mean we're always doing that. <laughs> not, not all men, though. Not all men. Some, some men are good. Some men are good. Not all men. But the men I've met, for the most part, yeah. A lot, a lot of your clients are married? Yeah, you got married people kids, whole families, and yeah, everything. Do you believe in love after what you've seen? I still got faith. I still got hope. Yeah. And what's, what's your dream guy? <laughs> so I do music and um, I rap. I love to write. I've Sexy always loved man. to write when I was little. I've even, I've always loved to write songs even when I was little. Like I made my first song in first grade. Oh my God, that was funny. Um, made my first song in first grade. Um, right now I'm actually working on an album called Horror Chronicles. So Horror just be Chronicles. looking out for that, y'all. And my name is Bianca T on YouTube. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I like music a lot. That's my most See interest. And That's what you'd love to be doing. That's what I love to do, yeah. yeah. For the do you see them knees? Knees of a, of a motherfucking goat. Most part, like and when you, I'm at you, home, you wouldn't be the first girl to get off the streets and make music. Oh, seems, okay. to, be, seems to be a lot of that. Yeah, I got a few songs out, but I haven't released a song in like a year, so I'm very ashamed of that because just been going through a lot. Shit, she be but, running. Where, where do you live? Where do you stay? Up. Um, I stay with my guy, Pasadena. And tell me about working. You work other tracks too, but Figueroa Street? Um, Fig or Long Beach Boulevard, but for the most part, Long Beach. Why do you stay away from Fig? Um, I mean, I used to go on Fig a lot. I actually used to be on Fig a lot, always in the 60s a lot, but like a while ago, something happened. Like, I don't know what, like the mayor was shutting all the rooms down mm -hmm. and police and so Fig kind of got shut down for a little bit. And like every now and then I'll go see what Fig is looking like, but every time I go it's, it's always bullshit. It's always police and there's just a lot of, it's chaotic over there. So I'd rather go to a blade where it's calmer. Are you making money? Are you saving money, I guess so, is my question. Are you saving money? Yeah, stacking up, trying to. Sometimes they get spent on stupid shit, but. Do you have, do you have a bank account? No, nah, I don't have no bank accounts. What do you got, shoebox? <laughs> Uh, nah, uh, my guy handles all that. He handles all your money. Pretty much, yeah. What happens if you guys have a fight and split ways? You got that money. I mean, we've had fights and we've, I've left them. I recently, he, I actually he, recently just came back to him. Does he give you your money back? Huh? Does he give you your share of the money? He takes care of me, as you, you can see. Yeah. Okay, no, but I'm just saying, if, you, if you're stacking money and you're fighting, I just wonder if you're going to get a piece of that. I mean, I always come back. <laughs> you're, you're, but no, I won't get a piece. You're a boomerang. Yeah, 
will always come back. High school sweethearts. Really? <laughs> yeah. I met him um, when I was um, in ninth grade, but. I okay, this is her. I did say that. I did say that. I told y'all this is her. This that hoe? Yeah, this that hoe from the car. I told y'all this is high school. Her pimp was a high school nigga. I remember this hoe. I told you I don't forget a whole face. That's one thing about Sos, nigga. He not gonna forget a whole face. I wasn't hoeing at the time, so. I, tell you. I think a lot of my viewers probably don't, I can't, can't, can't comprehend how a girl can sell herself on the streets and give her money to a, a pimp and then and then love him at the same time. Yeah. How do you do that? I guess it's the bond that I got with him, really. Because, you know, we met in high school and before the hoeing and pimping. And he accepts we, you for what you're doing. He's not judging you. No. We were just goofy kids back then. Now we're just business partners. <laughs> he has other girls, too? Mm -mm. He's running it up. Just you. Shout out to him. He running it up with this hoe. He got him a good little hoe. All right, so maybe you're like boyfriend, girlfriend, and he just mm -hmm. manages the money. Nah, business partners. I wouldn't call his boyfriend girlfriend. No? Hey, you got a girl. Nah. <laughs> Tell me about your clients. Are they, they're mostly Mexican? Yeah, mostly Mexican. Um, Now, black clients, that's tricky. For one, um, none of the girls are supposed to be dating blacks, for one. I've heard that a lot. I, um, none of the girls are supposed to be dating blacks, for one. What? I've heard that a lot. I would make an exception if like, if you're an old black man, like you could always tell, like if you're an old black crunchy man, like, yeah. There's not gonna be any BS. Right, you know, and. Young boys, listen, y'all niggas can't slide up on her. She not fucking y'all. Uh, if you black and you pull up, nigga, you about to try to get some pussy, nigga, it's not happening. It's diluted. It's done. Like if you, you could always tell, but there's been a few times where Yo. I have dated black men yeah. Some went good and some went bad. So, yeah. Your intuition <laughs> becomes a big part yeah. of this occupation, doesn't it? Yeah, I actually need to start listening to my gut feeling more. I'm hard headed, though. Have you yeah. had bad things happen? Of course. Man, um, that's another reason why yeah. I don't play Fig. On Fig, I've gotten kidnapped, held for ransom. Um, I've gotten robbed at gunpoint, literally standing on the street, like outside. Yeah. Um, what else has happened? You already. What else has happened? I've gotten raped, but Wait. that's normal now. This nigga um, chatting, drunk as fuck. Yeah. Kidnapped, I think I said that. It's a hard life. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, yeah. Burnt out. When, when you were young, you're still young, but when do you have dreams of doing something with your life? Is there something you want to do other music. than music? Music? Um. Yeah, nah. I've stick. I really say music is my option A. I don't have no option B. Like okay. that's what I'm sticking well, no, I mean, with. You're option committed. A is so yeah, like pussy. Very. that's what I'm sticking with. If you if you got talent and you're driven, sad, you should pursue man. it. This shit is so sad. Bro. You get depressed. You get anxious. You get I'm depressed yeah, for you, bitch. I do. Bro. I actually Damn, need to look for um some therapy, but I, I kind of stopped doing therapy because I've always had a therapist. Oh, like oh, from the time I was in elementary, I've always had a therapist, always. But she um, was she was I stopped trusting she therapy because dick. every time I had a therapist, cops would either show up to my door or CPS. And I understand you can't tell them certain stuff, but it's like, like I need somebody that I could tell everything to, like. Like, I'm telling you this because I want you to help me, not to rat me out or, you know, just. So I just stopped doing therapy. Yeah. But I think I want to open back up again since I'm more older. It'd probably be good for you. I hope so. Adult therapy. I think that's what I want to do. Might help you with your music, too. You think so? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> do you have friends? I do. I have my best friend, Nyla. Um, been best friends for eight years now. That's great. I met her when I was it's in- important to have that. Okay. Yeah. I met her when I was in um, middle school. She's my, I love her so much. Like, 
being my friend is actually really a job. Like it's really, <laughs> it's, it's really a job. So really shout out to my best friend for real. Like she's actually saved my life many of times. Stopped me from killing myself many of times. Like she's somebody who I really can talk to for sure. Like for real. So I love my best friend a lot. That's, that's really great to have that. You don't need a lot. You just, just need one good one. And then I have my cousin Jazzy. I call her my friend too. So I really only have two friends. That's, that's, Jazzy. that's it. I had a lot of friends, but you know, when you get older, they all perish. And people that know you do this kind of work, do you get a lot of judgment? Everybody know. Everybody who knows me knows I do this work. Um, I don't get judged. She'll I don't. Be on that Facebook, selling that pussy all. Everybody knows she doing that now. She gone, man. It's over. The streets got her. The streets need a body. <laughs> they got one. The streets need a body. No, nah, nobody really judges me. Yeah, they do. They just don't tell you. Is, is this a lifestyle that a lot of young women will, they, they think that this is something they want to do? They think it's cool? I feel like some girls think it's cool. Some girls, I feel like some girls have, um, have a big support system, but they still choose to do this. And then obviously there's some girls who don't have a choice. Some girls have to do this. Um, yeah, she said she got raped when she was young. Do you feel like the the sexual abuse that you went through when you were young kind of led you or ma made this an easier decision? Most definitely, yeah. Yeah. I don't even, that's why I said rape, normal. It's, it's a normal thing now. What? I don't, yeah. What? That's doesn't hurt me no more. You, you, get, you get tough doing this kind of work, don't you? You got to be tough, for sure. You, you can't be no crybaby out there. You can't. It's not going to work. You're going to be stressed out. I'm still trying to build my toughness because I'm still, I'm not sensitive, but I mean, I used to be really sensitive. I'm not sensitive, but I do have an anger problem. I do have an anger problem. What do you think you're angry at? Not being understood when I was little. Not getting the help I wanted when I was little. Do you, do you still feel you know misunderstood? Need? You know what this little bitch need? This little bitch need God. <laughs> that's what I that's all I can say, bro. God won't leave It might. God be changing these bitches. But some of these females get into God and they change, but she yeah, she need to yeah, she need to lock in. Yeah, she gotta lock in with God. She yeah, she can't in. just talk to him. She gotta lock in. She gotta go to church, she gotta lock in. Yeah, she needs help. And that like the only motherfucker that can help her. <laughs> Gangsta, I'm trying to tell you, she's fucked. <laughs> you heard her? She said rape is regular. <laughs> That's crazy, nigga. Yeah, only motherfucker help us. God, that's it. She said rape is regular now, nigga. You got to be tough to do this. Damn, son. This bitch is fucking... We be forced to sell drugs. Bitches be forced to sell pussy. Shit is crazy. Like, we fucked up and want to make a way we go to drugs. The bitches go straight to selling their ass. This <laughs> 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 shit not funny. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? Like, nigga, the bitches trying to get to it. They hustlers. She just, you feel me? She hustling. Like, goddamn. She need God, bro. I feel like there's nobody there no more to really understand me. I don't talk to my family. You don't, well, talk, I don't, you don't talk to your family? I don't talk to my mom. I actually recently just cut her off for the last time. Yeah, I don't talk to my mom no more. It's me and her, it's toxic. We used to have a good relationship when we was little, like I said. But as I got older, she started having like hatred towards me. So I don't talk to her no more. Cause Every you time. Because you weren't behaving the way she wanted you to? It's not even that. It was, I don't know what it was. Like, my looks, like... My looks bothered her, honestly. I feel like she was really jealous of me, and I've always had other people tell me, like, you know, she was jealous of me. I, even my dad told me, you know, stay away from her for real. She's not good, so. Because you were dressing too provocatively or something? Nah, it was, I don't know what it was, really. Like, the school part was mostly my dad. School part, I'll get in trouble mostly with my dad. But I guess my mom, 
she kind of fucked up, you know, when I was little. Like, you know, we're having too much fun. You, ever, you always hear that saying where, um, what's the saying? Parents aren't supposed to be your friends mm-hmm. and stuff like that. She was my friend when I was little. And I guess now that when I got older, she was yeah. trying to like, you know. Straighten out. Straighten out. Yeah, she was trying to straighten out. But it was right. too late. So. What was the best example of a loving relationship you saw in your childhood? Me and my grandma. No, but, but like between a man and a woman. Yo. Nobody. Nobody. How you grandma? My mom's bisexual. So it was either she was it was with a girl yeah, or bisexual. with a man. She had other men too, like granddaughter. Crazy in one family. Crazy. She used to call it that too. All that you fucking little whore. Grandma, like, grandma, no. I was like, yo, oh, this shit. I'm always a stripper, you know and honestly, she says she's never walked the oh, track before. I don't believe that, oh, but sad, I'm always a stripper. <laughs> um, <laughs> stripping is not a big departure from oh, what you're doing. No. Nah. Um. My mom still got one little regular of hers. She calls him husband. He used to be buying us stuff when we was little and everything. But, uh, yeah. You were close to your grandmother? I was very close to her. Charlotte. That was her name. Charlotte. I called her nanny, though. You are closer to her than your than your own parents? For sure. Like, because my grandma was my mom's mom. And I will always talk to my grandma. We'll sit outside on the porch. She'll play her radio, we'll talk, and, you know, sometimes she'll give me shots, too, <laughs> or sometimes she'll let me smoke some weed when I wasn't allowed to smoke weed at the time. So you had a fucked up granny, too. I was, about to, I was just about to say, you disappointed granny. Well, granny probably knew. She's crazy. Um, I would go with her everywhere. Like, even though she was old, she wasn't really that old. She died when she was 60, 61, I think. But she still had, like, energy. Like, she could walk to a whole nother state if she wanted to. Like, she still had energy. So I would go with my grandma anywhere, everywhere. Mm. And then one day she just dropped dead. Yeah. One day she just dropped dead. What do you think the most misunderstood thing is about girls that do this? This is crazy. Um, It all starts from somewhere. Like... I feel like girls who do this, honestly, I feel like we all, all of us, we all, I feel like we all have mental issues. Like we all have something that we're going through up there for sure. Like I feel like it starts at a young age for some of us. Do you have regrets? I do. I wish I would have did better in school. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I, I could have done a little better. Do you regret getting into this lifestyle? A little bit. (laughs) Just a little bit. Did you ever just Just have moments where you stand back and look at what you're doing and say, man, this is crazy? Yeah, I actually just had one of those moments yesterday. Because it is crazy. Yeah, it is. Like, every now and then I'll think about, like, what am I doing? And then... Yo. Yeah. Do you believe you deserve something better than this? Of course. I absolutely you do. do. I, yep. I'm and I'm going to get it. Definitely going to get it. Is it difficult to be around so many people that you can't trust? That's what she said? Nah. It is. I learned to not trust people like that. Because I used to be so trustworthy. Like, but the trust part is so. Definitely going to get it. 140. Is it difficult to be around so many people that you can't trust? It is. I learned to not trust people like that. Cause I used to be so trustworthy. Like, but hundred and forty people in three days. The trust part, like well you could see that. Room, right? yep, bro. <sighs> same bro. Bitch. Yeah, it's the same bitch. She said it. She was like, Oh, it was a high school lover. Yeah. Like I said, bro, yeah, this is crazy. hundred and forty people in three days. That's crazy. It's crazy, my nigga. That's crazy, my nigga. Nothing. That's like a nigga three years right there. Like, so. Yeah, like a nigga like, yeah, that's like a nigga two, three years right there, bro. And that's a nigga that's like, yeah, out there, yeah, slinging. <laughs> that's, that's, some niggas ain't even got a hundred at a grown age. Some niggas ain't got a hundred. God damn, bro. God 
damn. All them different energies, all them different soul. You got soul ties with thousands of people, bro. It's crazy. I don't, it's crazy. That your family, you can't even trust your family. Like what? You can't trust nobody, nobody at all. Especially like your closest family, like your mom or dad. Yeah. Yeah, when your dad's putting I'm a hoe shirts on you. I'm not sure about yeah. that. Yeah. And like all my sisters, none of my sisters. Okay, so I have older sisters and younger sisters, but none of my sisters were like me. Like none of them were fast. Fast, yeah. Um, they were all in sports. I was in sports too. I did sports too. I played volleyball, um, basketball. I played soccer one time. Um, yeah. Fucking whore. I don't but feel we sorry were, for you. We, my dad, he made sure we was in sports, but it's just like he just didn't talk to us. He had no relationship with the man. He was just there to provide for us. Food, table, clothes, school. That's it. That's good though. But I feel like every I feel like girls, they need their dad. Like that relationship, it like is very special. Like I remember when I was younger and I had friends who had a good relationship with their dad. I would get sad when they would talk about it, but you know, I didn't say anything. I'll just smile, be happy for them. But I get sad and think like, damn, what does me and my dad got? Nothing. I know, yo, bro. Mm, yeah. I don't give yeah. a fuck what her dad did when he was young. I know that he seen this. <laughs> yo, when daddy saw it. Nigga in the room with shot his Yo, bro, when daddy saw it. <laughs> yo, bro. What the hell? I could guarantee my life he cried at least. He cried. Where did I go wrong? He cried. I guarantee he cried when he saw this shit. He like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> These niggas got 5.4 million subscribers. This shit is actually kind of 81. In two weeks? Jeez. Niggas about to be flying in to fuck his daughter. <laughs> niggas about to be niggas hitting them right streets. Nowhere, right? Where she at? Damn, niggas. Yo, bro, Probably I guarantee you, a nigga that watched this shit went to go fuck that after this. Figurino. Figueroa. Figueroa. Yep. And she in Long Beach too. If y'all ain't hear it, if y'all hear this and want to go fuck her after y'all see this reaction, y'all know where to find her. Figaro and Long Beach. This look is, on the track. Look on the yeah. Look for the is, spots. This is why niggas be getting set up going out there. Mm -hmm. Cause you want to go out there and you holler at a bitch and you think she a nice girl, but she really a prostitute. She a prostitute. And she really got niggas over there. The pimp right there behind you. Pimp right behind you. Yeah. yeah, set him up in the hotel. You yeah. over there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, nigga running in the spot. Nigga, you nigga done? In the spot. Yeah, let me get all that money, nigga. <laughs> let me get everything. That's the gorilla pimps. Man, you better not go to LA fucking with these bitches, man. Niggas is going to get that. Niggas is going to get that. Go get Girl that. needs her dad. Niggas is going to get just that. to show her what's out. what's real and what's not. They out there. I actually just talked to him today. That's I'm telling y'all, nigga. nigga. I went out there. I seen it. I seen it. You heard my nigga coins? I seen it. I seen it, nigga. I was out this there. This is nasty. Nigga, I told she you, me and my cousin, that. she driving me through the hood, showing me the hoods and shit. And we <laughs> riding around. And I'm like, God damn. It was about 10 of them out there, ass out. I said, damn, it ain't like that out here in New York. I ain't never seen them like that, like they in Cali. Why would ever be ever I've been in New York? I never seen them like the way I seen them. Yeah, Cali nigga. Bitches out heels and butt. Little shirts like this and heels and butt. My cousin like, yeah, them them dirty ass prostitutes. You know my cousin not jogging that. She like, yeah, them dirty ass prostitutes. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking though. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It was looking lit. I ain't gonna lie. It was looking lit. <laughs> Just talked to him and him. There was some young but the last time I talked to him before today was maybe like five months ago. Oh really? Yeah, I really don't talk to him. He lives in Georgia now though. <sighs> so yeah. Damn. At least he ain't in Cali. And Bianca, what would you say is the most important thing you've learned in your life? That you only got yourself. You only have yourself. No matter how much people say that they care for you or are there for you, you really only have yourself. I mean, you might really have somebody who cares for you, but 
in the end, you're gonna have yourself. So you gotta take care of yourself first before you take care of somebody else. And I wish I would have learned that earlier. You like, learned that already. Be you selfish. Learned. It's okay to be selfish. It's okay to be selfish. Learned, Don't let nobody ways. manipulate you and, and tell you that it's not because it is. Because at the end of the day, being selfish, it might save you one day. You just gotta get and in church. I wish I would have learned that. That's all the only advice I got that, for yeah. you. All right. Bianca, thank you so much for sharing your story. Of course. Be safe out there. Thank you, Mark. All right. Oh, and shout out to Chato for bringing me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to get some pussy. Mark ain't getting no pussy. Mark ain't getting no head or none. Mark tweaking. Mark supposed to get niggas a. No, let niggas know what that shit here for. I'm out of here, though, Shreem.